Good morning, world from Stunts Auto Body. It was dark when I got here this morning. Man, when the sun starts coming up, it, it's in, it comes up quick. But, uh, man, that sunrise is beautiful. I love sunrises. Uh, anyway, I want to show y'all what we got done here. Yep. Okay. Good morning. Say good morning, world. Good morning, world. But check this out. We, we've got the side. Okay, right now it's just kind of screwed in here. But uh, we got the car, the quarter rockers off of another car and doors off another one. Just set it up there and shazam. Yep, we've got it all lined up. We haven't welded anything yet. So yep. it actually is just going to look like this when we're done. <laughs> so, <laughs> just put no, some... I'm talking about like the lines. And oh, like, God. Uh, stuff fits in. <laughs> okay, I'm not talking about the Right. <laughs> right. Anyway, man, I know this was one of those... There's people saying you can't fix it, but they have not met us. They have not. Yeah, there's. I mean, like I told somebody, if it hasn't been burnt or crushed, we can fix it. Right. And uh, anyway, uh, man, my autofocus is going stupid. But anyway, I'm. I couldn't be more proud. I really couldn't. This. Uh, the body seems on this thing. Like I said, the body seems, and it, I mean, it's talking about, we just set it up there, man. Look at that triangulation, right? Yeah, and the, and the door sucked good. Yeah, and I mean, it was, I'm talking, it was trimmed up, set up, and Seth screwed her down, but, uh, yep. So we, we've got a car. Uh, you guys proud of it? Yes, I am. Yep. You know what I'll be proud of? What's that? The money. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yep. Then, like I said, this job here is almost done. There ain't going to be hardly anybody where the doors had a couple dings, but yep. Anyway, I think we're going to screw it down, and uh, we're going to screw it down good. Put the wheel and tire back on it. Pull it out. Drive it around in the parking lot a little bit. Make sure everything. Yeah, because uh, once you weld it, once you weld it, it's going to be like that. Yep. Anyway, I uh, want to thank y'all for joining us on this uh, journey, fixing up this old, well, it's not old, it's a 99. Well, it's, that's 25. That car's a quarter of a century old, man. Yeah, that car's older than either one of you. Yeah, that's, that's true by a whole year. You know, that's what's crazy, because I talk about how much I love old cars. Yeah. My first car was a 72 Plymouth Duster. You think that's an old car, right? right well, that's okay, but I was 15 at the time. I was born in 1967. So you take that car wasn't crap. It was, yeah, well, let's say 72. I was 67, 70. I was five, you know, when the car was built. Four, actually, four. You take, I was 16, so that car was 20. That car was closer to my age than this car is to you. Yeah. So me driving an old car to school would be like you driving this 2004 or Mercury Grand Marquis. Right. Well, because Paul was only born a year after this was born. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, anyway. Yeah, math is not my strong suit at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> right. But still, it just back when I was a kid, old cars weren't old yet. Right. There was somebody when I was a kid in school drove like a '53 Chevy four door sedan. Right. That was an old car. Right. Yeah. You right. know, that was a tw was twenty five year old car. <laughs> was that it was '53 in '86? This is a twenty three year old car. Wow. Like this, that was like this, <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna put this down, go sand some bondo, and start doing some welding. I love you guys. Love you. Y'all done a great job, man. I'm proud of y'all. Thanks, Dad. Yeah.